glitch pad because I'm kind of afraid you're gonna follow me home. Mom, the whole internet followed me home. Can I keep it? It's really cute. She said no. So, funny story. Diffusing umbrellas when you are lighting your film. Plastic melts, starts fires, and I may have almost burnt the glitch pad to the ground. That would have put a damper on season two. This looks highly flammable. <laughs> Don't trust me with things. <laughs> on this on this chapter of Wit Whimsy, I have a look at this cool thing I found for you guys today. I learned something really cool about silver. Element on the periodic table, AG, number 47. Funny side note, 47 is actually science fiction writer's favorite number to use when they just need to throw in a random number. Seriously, check out Star Trek. Deck 47, used all the time. This being the periodic table, assuming you paid attention in high school. When we think of silver, we tend to think of it in its decorative form. Silverware, silver jewelry. I especially love silver jewelry. And I think gold is jealous. It complements my skin tone. I think it's really shiny and pretty. Silver has always been valued in just about every society. But as long as it has, it's also had a higher calling than just being a pretty, pretty princess metal. Pretty, pretty princess. So this is gonna build to something, but I guess the best way to start is, did you know how much silver was used in medicine? So starting way back with Hippocrates carrying ulcers and, you know, Hippocrates, he swore a lot, or made an oath. And the Romans in 600 AD with silver nitrate, silver's always been known to be a curative. Silver was also used to prevent seizures, which led alchemists, who make stuff up for a living, to associate silver with the brain the way they associate silver with the moon. You know, lunatic, because silver is linked to the brain, which is broken, so crazy people, and silver is linked to the moon, and loon, luna, lunatic, there you go. And what do you wear in the winter time? A robe. Like five of you probably got that reference. So crazy moon people. And then you add the myth of the werewolf and wolves howl at the moon. And then silver is associated with the moon and has curative abilities. And so silver became wolf, werewolf, kryptonite. If I go crazy, then will you still call me Wolverine? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's not a werewolf. And that's where we get silver killing werewolves and silver bullets. Rocker werewolf! 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 Van Helsing, Van Helsing, Van Helsing! Ah, silver bullets, my only weakness! How did you know? He watched Wit and Whimsy! Silver bullets, keep that in mind. We'll come back to it. Put a pin in it. So, silver killing werewolves, silver is one of the chakras. Silver was such a part of medicine, it started seeping into myth. Mystical medicine. But by the 20th century, silver was used for water purification and wound dressings. Silver nitrate was being used medicinally in a way that was kind of like a hatchet where a scalpel was needed. And colloidal silver was kind of a pre-antibiotic. But this led to silver poisoning. Silver poisoning is called argyria. It makes your skin metallic and kind of blue. It's kind of like if data mated with a smurf. It's not pretty. Plus it was really unhealthy and, you know, would kill you. By the 40s, we weren't using silver for medicinal purposes so much anymore. It was back to jewelry and decorative and pretty, pretty princess things. What? So in 2009, a NASA probe crashed into a crater in the moon and kicked up deposits of silver and quicksilver. Which is really cool when you think about it, because we've got actual fact currently going on that is supported by crap we made up in the past. So that brings us to the really cool thing I found. So scientists have been experimenting with using silver as a way to kill bacteria found in mice. Silver is a transitional metal. Why this is important is it sort of has a two-pronged attack. The silver gloms onto sulfur which bacteria uses to reproduce, so it's basically slowing down the reproductive process of bacteria. Silver also interferes with bacteria's use of iron. What's cool about this is weaker drugs can now be used to attack bacteria, and drug-resistant bacteria is once again susceptible to antibiotics. The coolest thing about this is on a microscopic level, Silver won't kill you anymore because they can actually use it to selectively target bacteria only. It is the closest thing we have to an actual silver bullet. Silver bullets, good against bacteria and really tiny werewolves. So I don't know how thousands of years ago we had the moon and silver and curative healing abilities, but we got to today and found some truth in it. And it kind of makes me just excited, you know, to figure out like what other myths actually do end up being weirdly based in fact. We kind of don't really know what we're doing in science, but we apparently are really good at guessing. It's, it's kind of morbid. People got silver poisoning and died so we could figure out that no, we just had to think smaller. And if we're right about this weird, tiny, bizarre thing with silver, it really makes me excited to figure out what the heck we're gonna discover next. We forget sometimes, but 
humanity is amazing. Whenever I get discouraged or lose hope because there's some horrible thing happening in the world, go look at science. There's amazing, brilliant, fantastic things being discovered daily. I mean, speaking of the moon, we... Guys, we went to the moon. We put a flag on it. We left this planet. We got in a box, we strapped a bomb to it, we exploded our way into space and landed on the freaking moon for no other reason other than we felt like it. It's huge. So in conclusion, be scientifically literate. Love you, Neil deGrasse Dyson. So, that was a lot to take in. Okay, bye. Oh, leave your questions and suggestions in the comments below. See you next chapter. Rocker werewolf! 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 Van Helsing, Van Helsing, Van Helsing! Ah, silver bullets, my only weakness, how does it feel? Well, he did watch Witten Wimsky. And stayed at a Holiday Inn? Not that place. That's not a Holiday Inn. That's a haunted mansion.